My name is Iman Person. I'm a visual artist and sculptor here in Atlanta, Georgia. My work focuses on nature's unseen. My most recent body of work explores the physical body as an open system relating to these ephemeral abstracts and my introspective narrative of reconciliation between myself and the environment. The outcome of these concepts are composed of forms that are bodily, visceral, and anomalous. Through my reconciliation, I use the environment as a medium for healing and create work from the lack of inherent relationship with the environment. I have often felt estranged from this place that in theory should make me feel most comfortable. And so nature has not only become a novelty, but also an oddity, as I feel it has for many others. I challenge these issues by working primarily in benign materials such as soils, clay, and gouache to illustrate the instinctual and variable roles of energy that move throughout nature and myself. The sculptural elements of my work often symbolize man and are created out of found objects, reclaimed plastics, and fabrics. By voyaging through materials and theme, my work forms a delicate attempt to reconnect not only myself with the environment, but also my audience. While I frequently show here in Atlanta, Georgia, I have not had the solitude or the studio space needed to complete a new body of work. Fortunately, I have been awarded a month-long stay at Hambridge Residency Program. For myself, the most influential piece of my Hambridge Residency will be having the environment itself act as a filter for my work. And I will have the experience of living one-on-one -on -one with my work for the duration of my stay. Also, while at Hambridge, I will be able to create site-specific work within the Hambish landscape. Situated on 600 acres in the mountains of North Georgia, Hambish is a sanctuary of time and space that inspires artists working in a broad range of disciplines. First created in 1934 by Mary Hambish, the program includes seven miles of hiking trails, a vast biodiversity of meadows, streams, waterfalls, native plants, and untouched forests. As one of the first artist communities in the U.S., Hambish has established a space for individual artists to create and experience solitude while interacting with nature. Not only will I be able to connect with other like-minded visual artists, I will also have the opportunity to share the space with poets, writers, composers, and performers, all of which will no doubt influence my work. During my Hambridge residency, I plan to complete various drawings, site-specific works, and performance pieces, all of which will be included in my new body of work. Also, I will have the opportunity to educate the community about my artwork during the Hambridge event, The Great Art Doors, where 700 patrons will step foot on Hambridge soil and interact one-on-one -on -one with the artist. And in November, I have been invited by Tri-Cities High School to curate a small body of work with the students and give an artist talk about my experience at Hambridge and being a working artist. I will also give a small demonstration to give them some skill sets to take with them to their next artistic endeavor. And in January of next year, I will be completing an artist window at Youngblood Gallery here in Atlanta, Georgia. During my month-long residency, I would not only be working on a new body of work, but also preparing for these future projects. Your funding and support will not only help these projects come into fruition, but also help with travel to and from the residency, my food preparation, my remaining stay, 
and much needed art supplies that I will need in the coming month. So as you can see, I will be extremely busy both at and outside of my residency, but I can accomplish all of it with your support. Thank you.